Alright, so in this video I will show you how you can use this image to create this artwork. You can find all these images in the description of the video. Alright, first of all you have to remove the background from this image, right? So once you have that done, make a smart object. Now let's create a new file and let's use 2160 by 2700. And that's it. Now, drag it in your new file and just put it somewhere here, maybe a bit smaller. Now for the background, I have this image here, which I wanna use because I like the colors of this image and this lamp there in the background is gonna get some nice reflections on Wolverine here. So let's use this one. We can use another one if you want, but I think this one will look pretty cool. So I'm gonna make sure this lamp is like a little bit in the center of this image, something like this. Now let's press right mouse on this background and rasterize this because I want to blur this background out. So first of all, go to blur and select lens blur. And I think a range like 31 is, is fine. The only thing you have to change here is the radius to set the amount of blur. So this is fine. Now let's change the lighting of this image because I want to have Wolverine a bit darker here. So let's first make him a bit darker like that. And now we can just select the normal brush and get some parts lighter again. So I would click on the mask here and get a little bit lighter parts, maybe even darker. Let's make him a bit darker. And let's make some areas lighter like his face, some here from the sky. And let's also do these things here and also this part and let's do some here like we have also some lighting coming from the front somewhere right so just a little bit like that it's not much but it will make a huge difference at the end and let's also make his head lighter all right we have this yellow or orange pinkish lighting let's make sure it's somewhere there and let's create some nice reflections from this lighting in the background so first of all, I'm going to click on Wolverine here and make a new layer. Now you can see here, it's a clipping mask. So I only affect the area inside his, his body, right? So let's pick a color. Let's sample something like, like this color here, maybe a bit lighter. Okay. And change the blend mode to overlay. And now we can draw some nice reflections. And you can see here how easy this is to create some cool reflections coming from those lamps there in the background. So maybe a bit here, maybe also here. Just a little bit of these orange, orange lighting coming from there. Right, so this is fine. Let's make sure the area where the light comes from is a bit lighter. So I'm gonna create a new layer on top of everything. Select this color and move it a bit to the left. So it's almost white, pinkish to white. Let's make the brush bigger and just make a dot like that. And put it in the center of this lighting, change the blend mode to screen and drop the opacity a bit here. As you can see here, we get nice light coming from there. Actually, I wanna move it a bit there, a bit closer to, to him. Maybe something like this. All right, now we need to make the background a bit darker. So I'm gonna create the curves for the background and I'm gonna make the highlights a bit darker like that and also these something like this right all right let's move on i think this this lighting here maybe if we duplicate this we get even more of this light just make sure to create clipping masks again and i'm gonna drop the opacity of this and i have the bit lighter like that Let's add some special effects to this. So I want to add some electricity to it. So you can use an image like this one. You can also use brushes. I'm going to use the image. So first let's put this here and make a smart object and change the blend mode to screen here. Now we're going to make sure this is like black so we don't see the darker area. So I'm going to press command or control L and select the black one here. And now press on this area here around it so we get rid of that, right? So that's really easy. Now, if you press Ctrl T, we can rotate this. And let's give him some, maybe some electricity here, this side. And 
we need to make sure that we don't see this weird stuff going on here. So I'm going to make a mask and brush this part away. And now I'm going to press Control command J to duplicate it. And let's do one here. Just some little special effects to make this cooler. Right? So you can do this or you can do some more if you want to. If you press Control J again, you can do a bit more if you want. So I think this is fine. I don't want to do it too much or else it's going to look too messy. Now, because we made this lighting here and here, these areas around it, it's going to get some light reflections. So I want to make sure these areas are a bit lighter than now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer on top of these and then select the brush tool here. And here we can select which brush. And I'm going to use some mist brushes. I have this SS mist brushes. I'm going to link this all in the description of the video. And if I use one of these, change the blend mode here to overlay. And if I just do this, you can see here we get this cool, nice lighting coming from those light things from this electricity, right? So let's just do it like this to make this really light. And you can see how cool this gets. So these areas will be lighter like that. Now, let's also make sure these areas on Wolverine are lighter. So I'm going to create a new layer. Let's put this above all these layers. Make sure it's a clipping mask like this. Then go to edit and fill. And fill this with 50% gray. Press OK. Change the blend mode to overlay so we don't see it. And now I'm going to select the Dutch tool. And with the Dutch tool, I can make the areas even lighter. So this is just a little bit of editing, but it's going to look a lot better later on when I do final adjustments. Let's try out highlights here. And now you can see that these areas get lighter. Let's also do shadows, just a bit lighter, like that. And that's it. And now if we compare this, you can see here, these areas got lighter and this got way lighter. Let's add some particles to this to make it more interesting. So I'm just going to use this image. And the only thing I have to do is place it here and change blend mode to screen. That's actually it. And you can see here, we get all these nice particles. Let's duplicate this with Control J, Command J Mac. And that's it. And we have some nice particles here flying around. There's one last thing I like to add to this, and that is a butterfly. And I think that will be more interesting to this image because I feel like something is missing here. And if we add something like this here, it will be a lot better. So let me make a smart object here and flip this horizontal. Like he's really angry at this butterfly here, something like this. We don't even have to blend this butterfly. I think it's already looking good, but maybe a little bit of a curve to make them a bit darker like that, just to blend this better and maybe a bit more contrast. Right? So that is fine. Now we can do some final blending to this. So now it's time to, let me put this in the right position. Now it's time to create a new layer and press command alt shift E. So you have a duplicated version of everything or control alt shift E and convert this to a smart object. And now you need to go to camera raw filter and here we can do final adjustments. So first of all, I'm going to move these sliders a bit around to see if I can make this better. Let's see, maybe a bit less contrast. So it doesn't get too much dark and let's see, maybe a bit more highlights. Let's drop the shadows a bit and increase the whites. For the blacks, let's make a bit more lighter blacks. And let's see, maybe increase this one and drop that one just a bit. And now let's see, let's go on to color mixer to change the colors a bit here. You can see we can make this red really pop out now with this one orange. Let's not mess with the orange or else the colors will be off from the original Wolverine. So I'm going to make sure the colors from his suit are like the original colors. So I don't want to mess with that. Maybe the blue bit to the left. Let's go to saturation. Let's drop this a bit and increase the orange. And let's drop the yellows here. All right, I think this is it. Maybe luminance a bit to see if, if we can make this better. But usually when you do luminance, you get all these weird 
things going on. So I'm not going to do this much. Usually I do this just a little bit like that. And let's leave that one. All right, let's go to calibration here. We can maybe change the hue a bit. I think this is fine. And let's increase this one. I think this is fine. Maybe this a bit to the left. Just like that. All right, once you're done, press OK. And it's got a little bit better. Let's also do curves on top of everything. Bring this one a bit to the left. So we get nice black tones. And this one a bit to the left. It changes to red. So we change this one a bit. Let's try green. Let's leave green. Maybe blue. No, let's leave those. Right, so this is fine for me. Now the next thing to do is color balance. And here we can maybe give it a bit more red from this background. Let's also give it a bit more pinkish, purple, magenta, whatever that is. And some more blue. Like that. Now I want to make sure there's a little bit of a vignette going on. So what I'm going to do is, oh, let's first uh, do some areas blurred out. I feel like this area here can get a little bit of a blur. So you have more focus on this part here instead of here behind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer here and then go to Blur Gallery and Field Blur. Let's first make the blur zero because I don't want any blur here. And if I hold the Alt, I can copy this zero. Don't want any blur here, no blur there. Only a bit here. Like behind him, behind his arm. Behind his shoulders, somewhere there. Just a little effect that will make it better. Maybe also there. Let's see if we can also do here. Maybe even here. Let's blur out this side of him. So the left side. Just like that. And maybe this is even too much, so I'm going to drop this. And I don't want it to have it here, so I'm going to put here zero. Right, so let's move it even more to that side. Just like that. I think this is fine. This is just a little thing that makes it better. All right, now I wanted to add was a vignette. So I'm going to go and select the gradient. And here I'm going to change it to radial and put it in reverse. And now we can move this circle around. So we have lighting there, so let's put it there. And let's change the scale here to make it a bit bigger. Something like, like this will be fine. Press OK. And this is way too much. We got it too dark. So we can also change the blend mode here. Maybe it's better to use soft light here. And also use a normal brush. When you click on the mask of it, select the black brush and get rid of some parts. So I don't want any vignette there. Don't want it here. I just want it on these areas around him, right? So in these corners, actually. Just a little detail. Maybe not in the sky. So that is pretty much it. But what I like to do is to add some of my presets in Lightroom to this to change the whole mood of this. And you can get these if you check the link in the description. These are the presets. And I'm going to apply some of my presets and I have the final design ready. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.